Hi, my name is Anubhav and I'm technical marketing engineer working for security business group at Cisco Systems. This is part three of my existing video series on Cisco Firepower Threat Defense in AWS. In this video, I'm going to talk about threat-centric protection using Firepower Threat Defense. So let's talk about my existing setup. This is my existing setup. I have a virtual Firepower Management Center. Uh, this management center is managing Firepower Threat Defense Virtual. These two devices are running in AWS environment. I have a VPC known as Tenant VPC. Under Tenant VPC, I have two subnets, outside and inside. Inside subnet is hosting a FTP server, and IP address is 10.0.100.100. And there is, there is an attacker uh, sitting on outside of Firepower Threat Defense. IP address of that attacker is 10.0.200.100. So in this demo, what I, what I will showcase is I will initiate FTP connection from outside the Linux machine to internal FTP server, and then I will f transfer malicious file and FTD is already in integrated with AMP Cloud, so uh, it is providing services of uh, uh, Network AMP. And based on that information, FTD will inspect my traffic and drop that connection. So I'm going to pause this video now and I'm going to log into my uh, AWS console. And let me show you the existing setup first and then we'll work on demo. I'm now connected to AWS Management Console and from EC2 instance, I will show you all the instances running in AWS Cloud. So I'm for this particular demo, I'm using five instances. First instance is a jump box. Using that jump box, I will be accessing my internal devices. I also have option of assigning Elastic IP address on my machines and accessing them directly from outside. But for this demo, I'm going to use uh, uh, jump jump box and then I have fire fire power management center fire power management center has one IP address and that is the management IP address of the device using this IP address it connects to fire power thread defense so Firepower Threat Defense has four interfaces first two interfaces are being used for management purposes Using 250.50 IP address, I have uh, added this Firepower Threat Defense to Firepower Management Center. Second interface is, is an unused interface and it is listed as diagnostic interface when you log into CLI of FTD. 200.50 is IP address which is assigned to outside interface of uh, FTD and 100.50 is IP address of inside interface. Yeah. On outside, I have a machine, LNX-out. It has two IP addresses. 250.234 is management IP address and 200.100 uh, is the data interface. Similarly, I have uh, one IP address here on inside uh, subnet and one IP address for management. So um, setup is uh, similar to what I've shown you in the previous diagram. So LNX inside is on inside of the virtual firepower thread defense and LNX outside is located on the outside of FTD. And we have internet connectivity on FMC and, um, uh, and FTD. So since I have internet connectivity on FMC, FMC is talking to uh, advanced malware protection cloud and we uh, we have uh, uh, integration with AMP, so it is it, it provides uh, network AMP services to my uh, AWS environment. With this, uh, I'm gonna pause this video again and log into our jump box. I'm now connected to jump box, and from this jump box, I have accessed uh, Fire Firepower Management Center, and this is dashboard of Firepower Management Center. Let me straight away go to devices and device management. Under device management, you will find that I have uh, pre-added Firepower Threat Defense Virtual. I'll, uh, let me go ahead and click edit here and show you interface configuration of uh, FTD Virtual. So I have two interfaces there. 10.0.250 is outside. 10.0.100.50 is inside. And on this sensor, I have applied policy uh, named as FTDV. So I'll go to uh, access control policy. This policy is applied to my sensor. 
So uh, I'll show you what is there under this policy. I have, apply, uh, I have applied a rule uh, to allow ICMP, FTP, SSH, HTTP and HTTPS and if we go more deeper into this rule and go to inspection. On inspection you will see that I have applied AWS-IPS policy and for AMP or file policy I have AWS-AMP policy. So let me click uh, cancel here and then I'll show you my IPS policy. So under IPS, uh, I have created uh, this policy AWS-IPS and selected balance security and connectivity as the base policy. And for AMP, I've created this policy AWS-AMP. Under this policy, I've selected all file types and action is block malware with reset so now uh, this sensor will scan for all kind of files and if malware is found it is uh, dropped with a reset so uh, with this let me go to my servers i have two uh, machines one is on the outside of the sensor uh, the uh, fire power threat defense the other one is on inside of the um, threat defense uh, firepower threat defense. So um, this server that you're looking on left side 10 0 100 100 is FTP server hosted on inside of firepower threat defense and 200.100 is uh, is a machine located on outside of the firepower threat defense virtual. So from this machine I'm going to um, from this outside machine I'm going to initiate FTP connection to my FTP server located on inside and send a malicious file. With the policies in place FTD will scan that traffic and since there is uh, integration of uh, network AMP because there is uh, internet connectivity on my FMC and my FMC is talking to AMP cloud. So I have all the required policies with me and uh, FTV, F, uh, FTD will scan uh, FTP traffic and based on the uh, information, uh, information it will block or allow traffic. So let me go ahead and initiate FTP connection. FTP 10 0 100 100 Username is Cisco. Let me enter password. Before this, let me show you which malicious file is located on this box. So I'll do ls. This is a malicious file uh, and I'm going to transfer this malicious file using FTP protocol to FTP server. So I'm going to um, initiate FTP session again. Put, I'm going to put this file on the FTP box. Okay, so connection, this um, data transmission failed because of the, because um, it is unable to read network stream. And let me go ahead and uh, see logs here. Let's, let's go to analysis, go to connection, events. Under events, we can see that uh, one session is being dropped. Initiator was 200.100 my outside machine and 100.100 .100 was my internal FTP server. So I'll just click here. And this is uh, all happened on the FTP thing, FTP protocol. And if you want to see more detail about it, you can go to um, malware events under file. So this is uh, the detection name, file name, and it is marked as malware. So I'll go ahead and click on file events. Under file event, uh, it is marked as uh, malware. These are the two connections. And if you go to network file trajectory, You will see more information about this connection here. So um, since July 27th till date these many connections were initiated 
and uh, and initiated this attack so you can look at the file trajectory and look at the threat score as well you can also find out where exactly this uh, malware went and when it was initiated with this we are coming to end of this video uh, in this video uh, we showcased inspection of uh, malware through a firepower threat defense running in AWS environment. So we had uh, two machines, one located on outside of the firepower threat defense, other one was located on inside. And we uh, tried uh, transferring a malware file through a firepower threat defense virtual. And since there was integration of uh, FMC with AMP Cloud and, there, and, and our FTD was providing network AMP services, uh, our FTD was able to look at the file and uh, mark it as um, malware and uh, in the end FTD dropped it. So uh, with this we are at the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.